Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building 4 motor extreme off-road monster truck from 2 Tatras and 4 Nissan Leafs. And this is episode 36. Sponsored by our wonderful Patreon patrons team. Thank you very much, guys, for helping us with this channel. And we have two new patrons. First is Nate Clover and second, Kyle Barr. Thank you very much, guys, for joining us, especially you, Nate, uh, for purchasing two t shirts from us. Since last time some good news happened, we managed to sell the engine and the transmission from this Tatra. That's good news, and I have some announcement. For you, it's very exciting, but it's not the right time yet. So maybe next time, so stay tuned. Last time we stopped because my tools couldn't handle these bolts. Since then, I purchased this massive thing, one inch breaker bar. I hope I'm not going to break it at this time. I was so afraid that I'm going to bend it because <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, there are the threads over here in this cross member. I want to keep because I will probably use it as a mounting point for the roll cage. So I really didn't want to cut these bolts or damage this cross member. That's why, why I'm doing this. exactly that's exactly what I didn't want well we'll see Okay, we managed two of them, two of them are broken. There will be pain today to get it out. It's amazing, those bolts, they are broken, but I still can't get it out. Yes, it is. However, <laughs> I think I have to bend this to be able to remove that because those bolts are in the way. Yeah, done. That's crazy, look at that. I have to figure out later how to get them out because I don't have that strong torch to heat up everything around. So, and next step, finally, we are removing the front axle. Last time it was really difficult. Maybe today it will be easier. If you watched it last time, you know that this is a very <laughs> important tool here. Do you remember how we did it last time? <laughs> I kind of forgot. This way, right? I think it's moving very well. I will get rid of the pallet jack and put a regular bottle jack under that because it will work better than this. Oh. 
Nothing is happening. I think it's working here now. Yeah, we have a crack here. You can see that on the bottom. Yeah, it's working. We are progressing by fraction of the millimeter, but better than nothing, huh? I'm going to try to use this bottle jack. Years ago I tried to use it horizontally but it didn't work and some of you guys told me that if I have this in certain position that it works, so we'll try. Okay, it works this way. It doesn't work that way, but it works this way. Okay, so it means we will probably Take it apart easily. Be first time something on this tatra is easy. pretty big pressure on it, it should go. Now there is a big crack over here, you can see that gap. Wow, look at that, it moved, finally. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was so f***ing frustrating and now when you see this progress, when it moves, it's such a feeling. <laughs> well, it will go now. It's moving. I think it's moving. We'll try it a couple times. For some reason this side doesn't work. This one, this one is good. Top is good. But this side, somehow if it's rusted, I thought this last one was difficult. This one is worse. doesn't make any sense. It doesn't f***ing make any sense. I have no idea why it's not going. This jack is on its maximum. It doesn't pump anymore. Doesn't make any sense. Look at this. These two, <laughs> these two parts of the handle for the jack is pressed together. That's how big press how big pressure was there before. It's going perfectly well on this side. So I have no idea why this side is stuck. It looks like it's moving. I don't know why now. <laughs> but well, I, I, I will take any result. I did not take it. It seems like it's working. 
Vamos. Luego chai también. No. Ja, my to máme! Wow! We got it! Krásně. Yeah. We got it! I don't know why and I don't know how, but we got it! My cat, Oliver, did this. <laughs> and we did that, we did that three hours. And now we'll finally remove the damn axe. Wow, look at that! What the hell? Wow! <coughs> this was amazing. That was crazy, but we made it! And if I can do it, you can do that too. And now we will do the locker controllers. One. Two, three, four. Without that, we cannot remove the tube. It's awesome, I have to cut the bottom bolt. Oh my god, I'm fighting here for 10 minutes. <laughs> That's the way how it should work. And now the tube. Wow, that's not an oil, that's water. Wow, look at that mess. That was easy, comparing with the front axle. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> and now the auxiliary transmission. I don't really desire to lay down over there. <laughs> and that was the last knot. I didn't leave the tube, I could use it as a leverage. 
Oh my god. I'm an idiot. There is one more f***ing nut on the bottom. I'm an idiot, really. Oh my goodness. I didn't see that f***ing nut on the bottom. It would go with one finger, with no effort. If I didn't want to make it more exciting for myself. Ah, I want some wood to the fire for the fireplace. Awesome! <laughs> I have no energy to be even happy. <coughs> Awesome, it's done. It is only 150 kilos, so that's fine. <laughs> See, it's, it, it's disengaged, it's spinning here. Here, it's spinning. And not here. Not spinning. I engage that and it's spinning. <laughs> so, it works. And now we will get rid of the U-bolts. I forgot we need to unball the nuts over here under the under the airbags. And now let's do the cutting. And the second side. Okay. Oh. Oh. Done and we are done. And that's definitely all for today, definitely. Please consider to become our patron. We'll need your help to continue with this channel. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm. Stay tuned for the next episode because we will finish it. I really, really, really want to finish this sucker. And uh, see you on Tuesday. Thanks for watching.